Yeah. Yeah, my pleasure, my pleasure. Great, and we're here today with Atheists for Liberty. Yeah. And we're saying, hey, there are atheists here in the reserve space. This is not just for people. Yeah. Well, I think that's a new idea, I suppose, to some, but it doesn't surprise me, and it's something that I've been trying to talk about for a couple of years, that I think as, as the woke thing goes so crazy and purges so many people, I think a lot of good liberals, or forgetting your political allegiance, I think a lot of good people who happen to be atheist or non-religious, non-denominational, they're going, well, I'm not, I'm not woke, but... Do I have something to do with these, you know, scary right-wing conservatives? And are they all religious and they're all going to convert me and make me a believer, something like that? And I think it's become very obvious that the answer is no. There is a huge tent on the right of people who are believers, people who are non-believers, people who are somewhere in the middle, but people who ultimately want to live freely, who want to live without government control over every part of their life. And that's what's happening in this room. You guys are all walking around with atheist pins and right, right. atheists for liberty. <laughs> nobody's attacking you. Nobody's is stringing you up. Right, right. And, and that is a beautiful thing. And by the way, even though it's new in a certain regard, you know, people like Heather McDonald have been talking about this for a long time. Heather's a conservative. She's an outspoken atheist. And, and you know, there is something there. And I think if you guys can keep building it, that's a beautiful... It's just another It's just another piece of a wide pen. Right. Many on the atheist side have been demonizing conservatives for years, not even willing to have the conversation. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think that was a mistake. I tried to never do it, even when I was more of a lefty. I, I can't say that I never did it, but I tried not to do it that much. But I think in an odd way, when you've gone when you've railed against religious people for so long and then suddenly you realize they're not the enemy, well, then you have to have a real mea culpa moment. And I think for a lot of people, having the humility to do that is not easy. So I think for you guys, again, it's just just be open enough to accept the refugees, and I think some good things will happen. And we're fighting against the new religion of wokeness. Many things wokeness we have in is common. A, wokeness <laughs> is a far scarier religion than any religion that I know in America today, I, I will tell you that much. And there's no religion, traditional religion in America today, that's trying to infect all of our institutions, that's trying to destroy education, destroy all of our cultural institutions, destroy our media institutions. There's one, and it's wokeness. Right, and a message we have with many of the conservative movement, especially religious, hey, there are going to be areas we disagree on, and that's okay, but we can work together. It's not like on the left, where if you disagree, you must be cast out, you must be canceled. You're a terrible you're, you're person. You're going to find a lot of people here who you have some existential issues with. You have some, some arguments about even the nature of reality. Um, but I'm pretty sure they'll all be willing to set it aside to go, do you want to live in a free country? I do. And then, and then what a great starting point. Right. To have a civil conversation, even if we disagree, as you've toured with Jordan Peterson, yeah. and you've met many people from all around political circles. From every walk of life, from every religion, every creed or nationality, and who, I, who or what you believe exactly, as long as you believe that you want to live in a free country. And if you want to live in a free country, we got a lot of room to do so. All right. Very good. Thanks yeah. for your time today. Yeah, my pleasure. All right. Thank you.